All right, this is part two of the, of the fourth lecture. So we just worked on the right click customization, then just did some text. So now we're gonna do layers. So if you wanna click on this button right here, this button is your layer property manager. Click on that and this layer box will pop up. I wanna make a new layer. I, with my class last class, I made a bunch of layers, but I just deleted one. I need to make some more or one more. Here's a button I wanna click on right there called new layer. So layer one will pop up and you can see the text is ready to be deleted. I'm going to type in 005 fix mill. So I want to do my fixtures and my mill work on this. This will be for my toilet fixtures, my appliances, all the mill work, cabinets, all that stuff. Um, I want this to stay on the red layer. So I want that to be stay red. And I want this to be on the continuous layer. That's how you make a layer. I'll make another layer here quickly just for fun. So if I type in new layer, I can type in something like 015 interior walls. I'm going to delete this layer down the road. I don't really want this. I'm just doing it for fun because that's what a fun thing is in my life. I'm going to make this one blue and hit OK. Um, let's say, oh, that's not called interior walls. I want that to be called property line. I can type in 015 property line just by double by clicking on that line. And then leave the color at blue. And then click on the line type. And the line type right now is continuous. I want to do a property line. So I, the property line is not continuous or a hidden line. So I'll hit load. And I forget what a property line is just offhand. I think it's... Um, I think it's a, uh, maybe there's a property line one here, I forget. No, there's not. I think it's something like this, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. I'll click on phantom, which is a, a, which is a line, then two dashes, and hit OK. And then if I want to select that line, I just click on phantom, and then hit OK there. So now this thing will be a phantom line. I don't really want that, so I'll just go right click on that, and then, then hit delete. Nothing was on that layer. You can tell if anything is on that layer or not because the dark blue or this blue here has something on it. This one, this layer does not have anything on it. So I can delete this layer. If I try and delete the hidden layer, it'll say, yo piece, selected layer was not deleted and here's why. There's something drawn on it. Yeah, all cat calls me P. Okay, so we've figured out our layers there. So what I did is I drew all this AutoCAD drawing on one layer. I think the layer is zero. Oh yeah, it's one more thing. You always have the layer zero and the layer def points. Those can't get rid of. They'll just be there, so don't worry about those. Uh, I think I drew almost everything on the layer zero to start. Um, but now let's say I want to put something on the layer called... Uh, um, what do I want to do? Let's pretend I just want to make something into hidden lines just for fun. So I'll pull up my hidden line here, 005 hidden, and I'll just draw a line with that hidden line. So that's going to be a hidden line. Let's say I want to turn, I don't know, all of these lines here into a hidden line. I can just use this command called match properties. So I go up and select, select match properties. It says select the source object. That's the one that I want to match the properties to. So I want to take this hidden line and match it to that line and that line and that line and that one. Say those. Select des destination objects. I'm done. And now I can just hit enter. Now all I do is right click because I changed my right click customization last time. And then I just hit enter. That's called match properties. So these lines now have all the properties of this line. So that's one way you can go back in and change a bunch of stuff if you want. Say I want to put something on windows and doors. This is another way I can change layers now. Click, click the down arrow, go select windows and doors, draw a quick line, and then go and select the source object, then select, start selecting all the stuff that I want to change to the window and door layer. I don't want to do that, so I'll hit Control Z and just undo that. That's just an example of how to uh, do your layers and how to do uh, the match properties. Uh, another little command called fillet. This is sort of a combination of trim and extend. So if I have a random line here and a random line there, all I do is go over here and this is my fillet command or fillet as I like to call it. So I'm going to select fillet. It says here uh, the radius is zero. So this will give me a corner at a 90 degree angle or zero degrees. So I select that line and that line and they'll just fill it right up. Um, so it's the same as trim and extend. It works pretty good. Uh, also, the footings I told you about last time, the footings are going to be 24 inches on your basement plan. Uh, how to get your basement plan. Let's go to that. What I'm going to do is I am going to turn off all the layers that I do not want to copy to my basement plan. So I do want the exterior walls. I don't want text, windows and doors, other hidden fixtures, millwork. I don't want anything else, I don't think. Oh, I do. I want the stairs. So I want to keep other on. Let's see if that current layer is turned off. That's okay. Yeah, this is what I would like. So I'm going to copy this drawing up. Let's use that title block too. Uh, hit enter and then I select the base point. I don't care where the base point is. I'm just going to move it a random number. I'm going to put it about there. So now I've got, I can turn all my layers back on. Don't forget to do that. And now I didn't copy all those layers that I don't need. 
If I want text, I can just go grab that text later and then move it up into this drawing. Now to draw my basement, I'm going to erase all the interior walls, including the, you know, the six inch wall thickness. I'm going to erase all that. Whoops. I don't want to erase all that. I'm going to hit escape. Again, I'm going to erase. I don't want to erase those walls around the stairs. So I'm going to select those. That's okay. I want to keep the walls around the stairs because the stairs are exactly the same size in the basement as they are in the main floor plan. If I select something and I don't want it selected, I go, oops, I selected that. All I have to do is hit the shift key, hold it, and then reselect that object, and it'll deselect that, that object that I don't want to erase. Uh, now I hit enter, everything then should be erased. So we'll just keep this as a, as a, as a good starting point for my basement. Now the basement walls are uh, eight inches, so I'm gonna offset that first wall eight inches. Offset everything inward. And then we use the fillet command, so I'm gonna fillet that. Filleting everything. Can erase that, we don't need that. Fillet this line back up. And then my next distance is going to be half an inch, so O for offset, 0.5. I'm going to offset these all half inch. It's tough to see, but when you zoom in, you'll see it. There we go. I'm going to offset this one 3.5 for that interior wall. Always offset the last line you just made. So now I'm going to go into this corner and fill it all this. I want, that's my half inch air gap. There's my three and a half inch wall. Perfect. The total distance for this, the total thickness of this wall now is one foot. 8 plus 1 half plus 3 and a half is equal to 12 inches. Um, the footing underneath this wall is going to be 24 inches, and, but it's centered under the foundation wall. So if I just find the center of this wall, like that, that's the center point of this wall. I can just offset that wall 12 inches either way, and that will give me my, my footing. That's me, the width of my footing. I uh, don't think there's anything else. So all I want to show you, I guess, I'll go back to my layers. These are the layers that you should have. So when you hand your assignment in uh, for, for my class, these are the layers that you should have. So you can pause it on that for a second if you want. If not, we just covered right-click customization, text, layers, and match properties, fill it, and the footing size. And these are all the layers that you need. So hopefully things are going well, and I'll see you in class. Hasta luego.